So a few videos ago, we solved the homogeneous case for this differential equation. We've got our complementary function ready. But now the right-hand side is 560 e to the minus 5x. So what should our test function be in this case? Well, it makes sense that it is some multiple of e to the minus 5x. Seeing as that's what we've got on the right-hand side, and when I differentiate e to the minus 5x, I get multiples of e to the minus 5x. So see, it stands to reason that this should work out. So I need dy by dx, which would be minus 5a e to the minus 5x, and d2y by dx squared would be equal to 25 a e to the minus 5x. So we substitute this in to my differential equation. So we have the 25a e to the minus 5x. Take away five lots of this one, so plus 25a e to the minus 5x. Then I've got six lots of this one, so plus six lots of a e to the minus 5x. And that's going to be equal to 560 e to the minus 5x. So we've got 25, 25 plus 6, so 56 a e to the minus 5x has got to be equal to 560 e to the minus 5x. So clearly a would have to be equal to 10. So here's my complementary function. Here is my particular integral, so 10e to the minus 5x. And so that is the general solution to my differential equation.